Hey guys, wanted to get you a quick video of your girl Aria. She is being a rock star today. Oh, very nice. Good girl. So um, we're out at um, my house. I'm another trainer. Got her around some other dogs. Oh yeah, there's a dog up there. Um, got her around some good distractions. I got a dog here and then these two doodles. Good. And Jess is doing some really good work with her on her really good obedience. So you saw at the beginning, she was doing some awesome healing, staying super focused. Good girl. And then she was doing some impulse control with those downs. Um, good girl. Nice. Awesome. And that's what we want with her. So just a really good, really good obedience. Not to worry about other dogs, even though they might be a little silly back there behind her. Her number one priority is to stay focused on whoever's holding that leash and to do really good, fun good obedience. Girl. Good girl. So it makes it really fun for her too. Nice. There you go. Um, and so when we create this dog that has a lot of engagement, is very happy to be with you and working with you, um, you get a dog that's easier to manage around the house, um, out on walks, out on hikes, whatever you want to do with her. If she can focus on you, she is going to be awesome. And so with Jess, what Jess is doing right there with that sit stay is when she's asking for a sit or a down, even though she walks away and even though there's lots of distractions, she has to hold that sit until she gets that release word, which is okay yeah. from Jess. Good. And that's how we create a lot of good impulse control where Jess can drop that leash, walk pretty far away, even though there's some distractions. Good. Good girl. And Aria is still staying really focused. So she's doing awesome. She's super fun. She's super happy and she's having a good time. So hope you don't miss her too much.